everybody. Welcome to Volume 6 of Zack Attack. Uh, today's topic is very personal and near and dear to my heart. It's about my boy, uh, Michael Taylor. Uh, Michael Taylor went to my high school, Westminster Academy. He was a great baseball player. I even played catch with him when I was just a young middle schooler um, and when he was in high school. It was quite the experience for me because it was really difficult for me to catch him. He threw so fast. Well, um, a couple days ago, Mike had the worst game in MLB history, some are saying. He struck out five times in his five at-bats and made the game losing error. That allowed the Dodgers to win the game 4-3. Uh, to three. Pretty sure it was 4-3, yeah. Regardless of the score, um, it's really a shame that the media is so easy, so quick to hop on the negative aspects of a player as opposed to, what they're, to the good that they're doing. For instance, like on June 19th, Father's Day, Against the Padres, uh, Mike went four for four with two bombs. It was a cycle side of the triple. Well, you know the media will look at that quickly and just be like, "All right, that's nice for him." But when he messes up, when athletes in general mess up, well, everybody loses their minds. Um, Mike's just 25 years old. Um, he's been up and down in the national system. He's worked up seven did hard years in minor leagues to get to where he is. Um, and basically, all I'm saying is I am defending Mike 100. percent Um. Some players just have bad games. I've had a ton of bad games when I was a high schooler. When I'm in intramural softball, I've had a ton of bad games. I've made errors that cost my team the game. I've blown, I came in and blown games in the last thing as a pitcher back when I used to pitch. My junior year, they had to shut me down pitching because, honestly, I'm a better fielder. It's not about that. This isn't about me, though, and my career is about Mike um, and the big picture. The big picture of it all is it's one game to the Dodgers. Nationals are still up four in the National League East. Um, it's a June game. In baseball, it's happening in October, okay, big deal. It's happening in Game 7 of the World Series, Game 7 of a League Championship Series, okay, I understand, it's a big deal. It's just a June game. I mean, the Dodgers aren't a bad team here. If it's happened to the Phillies or the Braves, then okay, like, even that still would be run out of proportion. But you lost to a good team. I mean, what we should be upset is plays like Jonathan India getting thrown out at second base, trying to extend a single into a double to end a Florida Gators baseball season. I don't fault India for what he was doing, but, you know, stuff like that should be what people are coming and getting upset about. Not a guy just having a bad day out on the baseball field. It happens to everyone. Um, but really all I want to say is to my boy, Mike, keep your head up. You know, there's a lot of doubters and just haters out there in the media, and I hate to come off so just antagonistic on it all, but it just really grinds my gears when, you know, just media outlets going to attack just a kid because he just had a bad baseball game. I mean, Mike's a great guy, and regardless of – 0 for 5, 0 for 6, 0 for 10 for all I care. He plays the game hard, and he's going to continue to contribute to the Washington National success going forward. Um, that's really all I have to say about the matter. Um, I'll have a new video blog coming out in a week or so. Um, thank you, everybody, and have a great night. God bless.